So for today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to pair your DirecTV Genie remote to your TV. So if you first get your remote and you hook it up to your TV, you'll get this message right here that your keys aren't programmed. So first, let me show you all what kind of remote I'm using today. This is your DirecTV remote. Okay. So the first thing you need to do to automatically pair your Genie remote to your TV is to press mute and enter. So mute is going to be here and your enter key is going to be there. You're going to press it and hold it until the green light blinks twice and then we'll let it go. All right. So we're going to hold it there. All right. It's going to hold twice. It says, on the TV, your remote is now set up for RF. All right, so then you wanna hit OK, and then we'll go into our menu key. We'll press menu there. And then we're gonna go over here on the side to down to settings. Okay, and when we go to settings, we'll click OK, and then we'll go to remote control and then we'll go to pair and program remote, which will be that first option there. All right, so next, if your TV isn't, the model of your TV isn't, isn't already um, applied in, that, in the device setup there, you'll have to go to change TV and enter in what kind of TV you have. So for today, I have a ProScon, so I will type the letters ProScon until I automatically see it appear on the television screen. So that's it right there, that first one. All right, and so the next question is gonna ask you, what model number TV do you have? So it's good to know that because if you put in the model number, it will be able to find the code more easily to pair your remote to your TV. But if you don't have the model number, which I don't have in this demonstration, we'll go to, I don't know my model. Okay, and so then it's going to start attempting codes uh, to connect this remote to this TV. So as you see, it said try code one, and now we need to confirm if that worked or not. So I'll press the volume key here, and nothing happened. So if it does not work, then we need to go down to try next code. So it's going to attempt the second code here, and then I will try it again. I'm pressing the volume. Volume's not working. I'm gonna go to try next code. It's gonna attempt code three of 36. So hopefully you have good luck to where one of these earlier codes will work and you won't have to go all the way down to code 36. But so since this, this is the third code it just applied, so we'll try it. And as you see there, we're getting some volume now. So now we'll just tell the television it worked and then we'll go down to done and we can hit exit on our remote. And we are programmed, ready to go. The Genie remote is working with the TV. I can mute it. I can do anything I need to do with just this one remote. Um, it, helps, it helps me out a lot from, from having to keep two separate remotes. So that's today's demonstration. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Help me, buddy. Like, comment, subscribe. More content will be coming. All right, have a good one.